We got a pretty insane story today because a Rolex game just sold for millions of dollars. But before that, as per usual, please subscribe. It takes like two seconds and we're trying to reach 10k eventually. So please subscribe and let's get into it. Alright, so as I said, a Rolex game just sold for millions of dollars and it's probably not a game that you expect. It is a bit random and a lot of people are saying that the game's even dead so it seemed kind of crazy to buy it. But Voldus Games, a company behind a lot of other popular Rolex games like Grabbing Empire, Dungeon Quest, stuff like that. Bought the game Ultimate Football in a multi-million dollar deal apparently. Our base news here just tweeted us saying, Voldus has acquired Rolls Ultimate Football in a multi-million dollar deal and this was confirmed by Voldus themselves. We don't know like an official price, like the exact number, but it's in the millions of obviously. I think that's confirmed, which is insane. And I mean, with that being said, like I mentioned, a lot of people are just confused at this because it seems like such a random Roblox game to buy. And a lot of people are saying that the game was kind of dying and it's not even doing that good to deserve that price. But with that being said, I think this kind of just shows how crazy rules is in general because people are buying these games for millions of dollars expecting to make a profit. And I think that just shows number one, how big rules is. But number two, how much money these games are actually making. You know, Ultimate Football averages like a couple of thousand players, like four or five thousand players every day or so, which obviously isn't the biggest game, but I think that just shows you how much money these games are probably making. You know, a game with 5,000 or 4,000 active players every day is getting bought for millions of dollars, and they're expecting to make back the millions of dollars in a few years probably. Because also with that being said, this isn't the first time we've seen something like this. As I'm sure we're all aware by now, uh, two years ago, or a few years ago now, Bloxburg sold for over reportedly like a hundred million dollars obviously you know a hundred million compared to a few million is a big jump but once again it just shows how big rolls actually is you know big games are selling for a hundred million dollars smaller games are selling for millions of dollars it's pretty insane what's going on here and we're seeing a huge shift on roblox right now where companies are actually interested in buying roller skins and stuff like that because they're very profitable as you can see and it's pretty insane actually and i think it just shows how big rolls is you know games are selling for millions of dollars it's pretty crazy to see because like the Bloxburg one, for example, kind of made sense. You know, Bloxburg is a massive game. We know they're making millions of dollars a month. So, so even though $100 million is kind of insane with how popular the game is, they'll definitely probably make a profit in a few years. But now seeing smaller games or quote unquote smaller games, you know, the game's obviously still pretty massive, but a game compared to Bloxburg, obviously a bit smaller, still selling for millions of dollars is pretty wild to see. But also with that being said, a lot of people are concerned for this game and fans of the game. Because like I mentioned, these people also own Driving Empire and Dungeon Quest. I think they bought Dungeon Quest. And if you read the comments, a lot of people are saying that they ruined these games that they bought. So a lot of people are actually saying that this sucks for the game and that it's probably going to become more pay to win and stuff. But I guess we have to wait and see. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments and check out this video for some more crazy news. And I'll see you in the next one.